Yeah, Lucy kept trying to get into the she the like, light swat, fixture swat, and swat, swat the swat, the ladybugs. Swat, it was great. Swat, swat. Okay. All right. So as I was saying it, oh damn it, you got me monologuing again. Come on. It's sad that he's not in this film. I'm really sad that he's not we, in this film. We don't know that. Uh -oh. I'm pretty I think, sure I think that, he's I think not. I think the in this jet film. engine that took him out in the first film will have something to say about that. I'm just that. saying, like, stuff happens. It's a movie. Yeah. Whatever. Are they going to pull a crank too, and his head's going to be in a jar, and he's just going to be like, maybe? It's just going to be like, I am back, Mister Incredible. He might be like I am here Super Future Revenge. Mandark from the Dexter movie. I mean, a in a jar. <laughs> oh God. That's that was a, messed up. It's a deep Super cut. Super messed up. Uh, I mean, yeah. especially when you see how it happened. You see, like, Fat Man Dark is just like, no! I'm just picturing, <laughs> Boom. like, Futurama, where they have all the... The Pres celebrity heads, heads in there. jars? Yeah. yeah. The That's what I'm celebrities. It, it's just, just like, like next time. Yeah. It, it's like... It's like, I'm sorry, but we just can't invite any uh, Tom, Dick, and Harry that wants okay, to be in the I presidential no thing. Things, no offense, Truman. No like, offense. No, it. uh, it's going to be fine. Uh, Don't worry. Truman, Nixon, him. and uh, Tru uh, it was no, it was Jefferson, Nixon, and Truman. Yeah. No offense. No offense, Jefferson, Nixon, and Truman. <laughs> so, um, so okay. Incredibles two. Pretty sure we got a we got a sneak okay. peek of it. Uh, actually. More of a more of a little comedy short. It was Mr. Incredible dealing with Jack Jack when Jack Jack yep. was his you know, he discovered that Jack Jack's powers were developing He's the way just they were running amok. And ru yeah, running amok as he does. And um well, what we are getting now is I think going to be a more a more defined trailer. I'm really excited. And uh here's the kicker with this one. Mr. Incredible is not going to be the main lead in this. Uh, instead it's going to be mrs incredible Sick. and here's the kicker with it from what i understand it deals with her being a more covert operative which mr incredible can't be i mean he did decent in the first film but i mean but he got caught he's yeah. a he's also just a big dude yeah i mean he did decent but helen would be a more a more cooperative type of because she, she could go paper thin and like go yeah like she'd go things. paper thin yeah. and go into a vent with ease like people are coming around the corner she's cornered vent Slide right in, no problem. She could be under his couch right now. Exactly, <laughs> and and speaking of, oh my gosh, she sorry, is. Sorry, sorry, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's Zach. That's uh, Zach's phone of uh uh. <laughs> it's got all it's, his. It's my work stuff phone. On. Sorry. Yeah, I was yeah. About from work. That's fine. But uh, we are we have this uh, trailer here. Uh, released uh, yesterday. So enough talk. Have at you. Exactly. Let's just get to it. On screen. Full okay. screen. And <coughs> go. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, the hey! There we go. The Underminer. She sounded like Armin oh. from um, Attack on Titan Bridge. Hey, Frozone. Okay, this is Shade Throne for Common Core. <laughs> My dad said that that happened. That's he said pretty that that great. happened whenever I was. You see, Jack Jack's pretty great. Now you see, this is a Fantastic Four film. Yes, this is a fan yes, Fantastic is. Four film with a baby, of course. And uh, well, I mean, to be fair, there's a baby in Fantastic Four. A couple, there's a couple of kids. No, I know, and I know. They're, they're also absolutely terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just for me. For me, I see this, and I'm just like, 
Why couldn't they do... Okay, <clears throat> I am glad that Fox is finally letting go of Fantastic Four and yeah. is giving it over to Disney because if Disney does this with The Incredibles, you know what they need to do? Marvel Marvel Studios presents Fantastic Four directed by Brad frickin' Bird. That's what we need. I'm in. I'm in too because he's done two Fantastic Four films already. What, what's and, better with another And one? actually did it right. Yes. Because yep. the thing that nobody realizes about the Fantastic Four is it's not about the superhero thing. It's not about the it's action. the family thing. Yes. And this is June 15th. But, but one thing out. just happens to be made of rocks. And the other one just happens to be he, he, a, ball yeah. of, a ball of hot flame. Zach, Zach got it and is angry at what I did. You've been making a lot of bad jokes nah. today. Eh. It's okay. It's what I do. So I spent a long weekend with like three toddlers, and I can say that that is not metaphor. It's really that banana. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's just like that with my nephews. My nephews, Case and Ryland. Holy are crap, weird. they yeah. are nuts. It's like Case is a live wire. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to sit down. And it's like the yeah, cookie, no, the cookie thing. It, like no joke. Like they can, they can smell it. It's like <laughs> so, they, can, they can smell your fear. See, my daughter is like a dog. For real, and I hate to compare her to that, but it's you true. could put her in the opposite end of the house, and I could sneak and grab something. To, I swear to God, they like hear the packaging, it, like, and she will run and sit there and just stare at you with these puppy dog eyes. And then if you just avoid her, she starts screaming her head off. <laughs> so before before I arrived, she gets I, it from her papa. I was told the scene I missed where two of them tore down the child gate. Knocked the Chewbacca head cookie jar off of the counter, ripped Chewbacca's head open, and spilled suckers all over the floor. And then began eating all the suckers. And then <laughs> Little it, savages. Yeah, no, but like, here's here's no the joke. worst thing. <laughs> They're a team. <laughs> They're coordinating. That you see it's now bad. that's something different it's, because Case and Ryland they can't agree on mostly it's anything like, no. except for Roblox. It's kind of like um. The two, the little pill bugs in a in a bug's life, where they like stack on top of each other and like yeah. somersault. <laughs> it's kind of like that, except without the Russian accents. No, see, all I'm thinking Let's about is, butter. so there's enemies in uh, uh, Revengeance, and they're also in MGS4, uh -huh. where it's this little orb with three arms, like three human arms sticking out. They basically have three arms. Their feet just kind of come out of nowhere. But here's the thing, <laughs> they're they're annoying on their own. But occasionally, one of them will pick up another one, and then it's just a kung fu guy. <laughs> They're uh, mini bosses. Those it, two, like I'm, those two together, it's terrifying. Can't imagine what it's gonna be like when you have the second. Oh, child. I know, dude. And my daughter's already getting to that height where she's it's like the perfect height, where it's just like a straight nut shot. You know, like pong. I'm gonna have two of those. I am a dead man. This well, you've got you've got a boy. Sounds on like the way. family Christmas. Yeah, oh, yeah, I know. And this as as Louis C.K. said, boys fuck you up, girls are fucked up. <laughs> and, and and he says this. He's he said here's the reason why I know this. Uh, he said he said because my sister has three boys. She's in hell pretty much every day because her boys like wreck everything. Yeah, my like, friends she, have three boys. Yeah, she like she came over to my house and like I had her sitting by at the counter. I was talking to her and. Uh, and she was just like sitting there with her coffee, like I can't, I, I, I can't, I can't take much more. And he come, and her oldest son comes out of nowhere with a handful of sand. I don't have sand in my apartment. Where did he get sand? I don't know. He just comes up and he just dumps the sand in her coffee, just like I'm gonna put that right there. Shasha, <laughs> yeah, pocket just like, sand. Just like, just like wow. And then, and here's the thing about dogs. The here's the thing, and here's the thing about girls. He said, I have two daughters of my own. And I try and keep everything equal between them. You know, I buy one of them one thing, I buy one of them another. I try and keep everything equal so none of them complain about it. <coughs> and my oldest daughter broke something of hers. And she did everything in her power to convince me that in order to make it right, I had to break something of equal value no, that's to not, my youngest that's daughter. That's not how that works. And I did. <laughs> and her face, when I did it, was just like this evil maniacal thing like she discovered i can make daddy do terrible things by crying yeah that's the truth and no to be, to be fair lewis ck didn't exactly need encouraging to do terrible things that's true no no it's true it's, it's just it's just to me that was one of his funniest bits you know way before the whole yeah. happened. i've already discovered that like my daughter's only a year old and she can barely talk she knows a few words but just with a few 
batting of the eyelashes and just those that look she gives you. She has a, a shirt that says, my daddy spoils me, and that's like 100% true. What's the weirdest thing you've had <sighs> to say? Like, to your kid? To like, my kid? stop doing whatever. Like, what's the weirdest thing? It's kind of gross, but it was like, Go don't, for it. don't throw your shit at me, please. <laughs> Mine was like, get... they're, they're <laughs> telling me about poop at me. Like, I was changing her diaper, and she reached down, and she just grabbed a handful. I was like, no! No! And she, she put Not it down. Not like this! I told her, I said, don't you throw that. And she put it down. I was getting ready to wipe her hand off with a wipe. I had her hand in my other hand, so she couldn't do anything. No. I wipe her face with it. And she immediately flips her fingers, mm. and it goes everywhere. <laughs> and I was like, "You've got to be kidding me!" <laughs> oh, God, I, I no. miss, I missed one of those incidents too, because it's just like, it's like <laughs> you don't need to tell me you've got a poop. I can smell it. You don't have to stick your hand down there and then show <laughs> yes. it to me. Yep. There's two weird things I've said to my kid. All right, I gotta hear uh, this. This ought to be no, good. One is, is get the fucking chicken nugget off the door. <laughs> <laughs> We're just let's just let's just take a minute on that one. No, the other one was, she asked me why I was crying, and I said because you're a little bitch. Oh, but wow. she deserved it because she bullied a kid and beat the kid up on the playground. Okay, that's oh. not cool. That's not. And cool. I was shaking. Yeah. Is there a safe place to put this? And yes. so I started uh, crying because here. the way my daughter beat up uh. this kid was exactly the way I got beat up in seventh grade. Ugh. I mean, to the T, same movements and everything. So. All right. So I'm crying. There was, there crying? was, there's, there's this person. Uh, I forget where I heard it from. He said there are wolves, there are sheep, and then there are shepherds. Yeah. And that's a, oh, was that that's a common thing? It was on um, American Snipers. Oh, that's that's where I heard it from. Yeah, you got but, wolves, sheep, and sheep dogs. Yeah, sheep dogs. That's it. And uh, he's like, which one are you? And he's like, because I ain't gonna raise no wolves in this house. If you're gonna be a wolf, if you're gonna be a wolf, then. If you're gonna, I'll you know, beat your ass. I'll you know, beat your ass for being that way. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, your face when I said that's because a, you're being a little bitch. That was a cop thing for a long time. <laughs> like people would put sheep dogs on their shirts and stuff. Yeah. And I, I'm not a fan of that whole thing because it's one of those like I feel like you're copying it from the movie whenever you put it on a shirt and it's not original. So, uh, Heather just asked me if I was okay, and all I can sit here and think about is. Zach was like, they're right at the right height to just punch you right in the nuts. And everything, I'm I'm having flashbacks of every family Christmas. <laughs> I oh, have... Come here, buddy. Let me give you a hug. Boom. Boom. No, no. I have four younger cousins. All boys? Well, all boys. A lot of the times, <laughs> they don't even mean to. It's like, I want to sit in your lap. And then it's just somehow elbows out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, so... Oh. For me, for me, it's a foot. For me, it's the feet. They, Case like, like Case used to like stand up in my lap and just like wonk wonk. I'm like, no, stop it, damn it. This is why go I can't ahead, go, ahead. Go, ahead. go ahead. Sorry. So I would try to spend time with all of them equally. Mm -hmm. That didn't work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then I would try. It's like okay, these two are fine. They have taken it upon themselves to try to keep the other two in line. That didn't work. So every Christmas, like until finally one year, I hid in the attic. <laughs> like I, Mark Griswold and I Christmas went vacation. up the stairs. I opened the door, sat behind the door, closed it, and barricaded myself in the attic because they couldn't get in there. <laughs> Because what would happen is one way or another, I don't know how it happened. I don't know why it happened. They would get in a fight. I would take a shot to the nuts, at least one. And then I would be blamed for the entire thing. Mm -hmm, of course. And put in time out. So you just and put the yourself in timeout. And no, no. Like the adults put me in timeout. Oh. Because it was my fault that all of this was happening. And the worst part of it is, it still didn't get me away from those damn kids. I just love that every family get together, when it comes to the kids, they all group together. And it's like a Godfather movie. You always have the one that's like the Don who gets the kids to do all the dirty shit. 
Oh, and then you got your little gremlins that run around, and then it just kind of goes from there. And it's, oh, it's you want to hear me. the worst part? What? What's that? There was one cousin older than me, but he was shorter than me. So when the lineup happened, I was the one that got picked out. Of course. And he was the one stirring the shit. Of course. I wonder Whenever, what happens there. Whenever my, uh, what? <laughs> what? Oh. Hey, what are you talking about, a-hole? <laughs> Me and Nathan got into some shit, though, and I ain't gonna lie, a lot of it was my fault. Oh, okay, oh that's a look. My fault. No, no, I, no, I was agreeing with you, it's just like, there was some stuff I did that was stupid, but this kid... Me and Nathan used to throw dirt clots at each other, and then one day... He got mad because I hit him with a dirt claw, and then we start for somehow we started like hitting each other with two by fours. I don't know how that started. <laughs> this is true. This game true. sounds awesome. <laughs> it's like this Thunder game Dome. sounds terrible. They were building oh, his house because he. This is lived, true. <laughs> he literally like lived right across the yard yeah, from me. The, at the, one point the original time. the original bit of the property was yeah, yeah, yeah. was it was all their land it was all their land, but we purchased half of it from them. Yeah. and we and my dad built a big house on there. And, for it. While they were building the house, there was just all these power tools and just building supplies Two by fours. around. <laughs> Two by fours. And, and his like grandfather that. was the one building the house along with everybody yeah, else. Yeah, my in the dad, family. my so, grandfather, yeah. You know, they would just let us help. And then somehow it always ended up to us just beating the hell out of each other. Yeah. And then they had a crawl space underneath the house. <laughs> and we used to get underneath there and like act like Indiana Jones, like find a yeah. When he started da, 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 da. when he started the word crawl space, I thought for sure you were going to say crossbow. Oh, no. And I got no. scared. No, 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 I, no. We didn't have a crossbow. We just had bow and arrow. I have this picture in my head of, like, smaller versions of you, like, setting up a 6x6 six six on some center blocks with, like, 2x4s, and you're just, like, pugil stick fighting oh, on it, it, knocking each other off. Was, no, no we never got that like, far. Like, that would be awesome. But there was a dirt... Baseball bat. But there was a... No, yeah. <laughs> well, there was... Yeah, there was that. But there was... I'll tell you one thing that was similar to that. It was King of the Hill. Oh, it was yeah. me, you... Cody Skeen, yeah. Andrew Wu, like we all like like pushed each other down this like mound of dirt they had outside. It was like a really tall mound of dirt, Those and like whoever was standing up on top was like king. I remember Andrew like grabbed my leg one time and just like whipped me off to the side, and I rolled down and I got back up. I was like you son, and I left, jumped up and I tackled him off the side. Cody oh, yeah. Skeen comes up and he kicks Zach in the back. Zach like takes a few steps down. He turns around, he pushes Cody down, Zach's up on top, like, yeah! And here I come, like, oh, hell no! And I just, oh, oh, we just got and into it. See, like, you're talking about playing around on a pile of dirt, and I'm just thinking of a buddy of mine and his little brother, who's, like, the property for their house was right next to a cemetery. Fun. <laughs> and so they would go and play around in the open graves, not realizing. I would do that. That's... I, 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 we, yeah. never near a, we never were near <laughs> They're a both still alive somehow. We were never near a cemetery. I remember that one time, uh, like, down at uh, Memo and Papa's, way back in the holler. Yeah. Uh, we, in like, the holler? Yeah, Here we go. The holler, the That's bowling, how you the pronounce old, it around the old, the old bowling holler. Uh, but anyway, we were down there, and they had this little swimming hole, like, way back way back in the yeah. in the woods. Bear trail. Yeah. They, uh, that's where uh, that's where Papa Elmer actually killed a black bear back there, and... Uh, for some reason, we always got at the bear trail. Yeah. Makes well, sense. Yeah. yeah. And there was an old tractor down there that got stuck, and then there was a mudslide, and it actually got buried halfway under. Ooh. And the tractor, uh, to my knowledge, is still there. It's still there. And um, Oh, no. Yeah, and then there was a – and then, of course, uh, down the old bear trail, there was this swimming hole, and there was this – a uh, pipe that uh, fed off from the local well, lake. It like, came, it like you know, there was, it like, was a runoff for floods. Yeah, it was runoff for floods and everything. I'm and still stuck on the tractor. Like I can just feel the tetanus happening. Oh, it's, oh, it, oh, it's bad, bad, real bad. Oh boy. Oh yeah, it's the bad. thing, the thing was dilapidated when you know when I was a kid. Now it's probably just like pieces just like strewn it's everywhere like that old doesn't look like it was part 40s of the 40s tractor. Yeah, and like, uh, it's... well, anyway. Grand, uh, like Papa had the bright idea of hanging these steel cables back there to where we could actually swing yeah. into the swimming hole. That sounds awesome. Oh, it was, oh, it dude. Was, it, it was, was really cool. cool. Steel cable. Oh no. no. And here was the thing: we did that, and it was like that for like the first two years. Everything was fine, and then all of a sudden, one of them snapped. When I think it was Rudy who was on Rudy. there. Rudy was yeah. on there, and he was just like, "All right, watch it." Oh fuck! <laughs> like playing oh. flat on his ass, and he's no. like, he's like, "Oh you gotta hell!" You understand though, we grew up. <laughs> Like, back in the boonies. Oh, dude, big time. So, you had a couple of things you could do for fun. 
you could be super other. illegal. <laughs> right. I'm not going to go into the details. <laughs> no, you don't have to. Please trust don't. Me. <laughs> or you could just find anything you possibly could to just have fun stuff. with. So, like, we would go out to the bear trail, and, like, you know, kids back in the day, like, you, you like a young boy, he'd find a rock laying <laughs> down, and you're like, oh, times. cool, and he'd pick it up and throw it. Mm-hmm. And then we started realizing, ow, that hurts when you get hit with it. Let's throw them at each other. <laughs> so, like, we would get the, the I was thinking, like, throw rocks, rocks at a dumpster. Bro. I, had a, I, had a, I had a pump knot on the side what of my head dumpster? where this kid... I had a pump knot on the side of my head with this only kid pelting me with a rock. It was like a rock this big around. It was like it was a thin rock too, one you could skip with. He throws it like a discus. Like I saw mm. it kind of like pow oh, right yeah. here. I was like, and I go down and I'm just like, ow! Oh man! And Zach and Zach's just across the way, just like. <laughs> but see, just to put it into perspective for you, one of the fun things you would do is you would go to the local garbage dump at night. With a spotlight and a twenty two rifle. And That's you would, right. You raccoons. would shoot rats. Oh. Yeah. Shoot um, rats and raccoons and stuff. Yeah, yeah. You, you would shoot. On a yeah. less destructive and sweeter note, my kid, <clears throat> my kid met Elena the other day. Oh, oh yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Elena goes, I like your shirt and your hair. It looks like mine when I was your age. And Skylar goes, yeah. Ten second pause. I lost seven teeth, but I can still eat. Well, I mean that's good. That's and good. and Elena's just like, oh. And then Skyler nice. opens her mouth and just shows where all the teeth are missing. And Elena's yeah. just like, oh, yeah, yeah. So I was not there for this, but I heard this story yeah, and it's yeah. pretty great. It, it was, but it anyway, to get us back on topic and to end it, um, family's a weird topic? thing. What topic? Fa- exactly. Family, family's a weird thing, and I'm glad the Incredibles are back, and you know, we're having the Fantastic <laughs> Four film we all want, love, yes. and deserve. Yes. So. All right. I guess that's going to do it for now. Uh, signing off. I'm Nate. I'm Zach. I'm Ben. I'm Heather. Micah. And we will see you later, everybody. Peace out. Where the crap is Chico? Chico.